cryptocurrency arbitrage will be very profitable for you if you can apply this simple trick I'm about to show you. And for the matter of fact, you can make as much as $50 daily simply by buying a particular cryptocurrency low on a particular centralized exchange and then rapidly like simultaneously transfer it over to another centralized exchange that is trading that particular cryptocurrency on an higher price and by so doing you are going to be able to you know sell it and make profit with the little price differences and capitalize on that without having to be exposing yourself to the volatility and the sentiment of the market so the main obligation here is for you to be able to you know spot the difference in prices and take an advantage of it because without spotting the difference in prices there is no way that the crypto arbitrage trading is going to you know take place so spotting the difference in prices really plays a significant role in crypto arbitrage trading that's the more reason this video is up today so i can get to show you a very simple trick that you can literally use to spot the difference in prices and take an advantage of it so if that sounds like what you are interested in do smash the like button for me and sub up to the channel if you haven't already let's hop into the trick real quick so first thing first you would probably have to be heading on to coinmarketcap.com and thereafter you are going to have to click on filter because we are going to have to be using the filter button right there to filter out those coins that has those inefficiency okay so after clicking on the filter button right there you click on add filter so right here on the more filter interface you are going to have to first of all up over to the volume section and change the volume to like um probably like 100 million to 500 million because obviously an higher volume will clearly signify huge potential buyers and sellers which will definitely makes that particular cryptocurrency to make a major move out of price so after doing all of that for the volume range you then click on applied and then you off over to the price section and switch up the price to about like um three dollar to probably like um okay let's use from um one dollar to probably like three hundred dollar so as to be able to find wide range of you know cryptocurrencies so thereafter you click on applied and then you click on show results so these are the cryptocurrency that you can literally you know put an iron so as to be able to spot the inefficiency so your obligation is going to be looking through this cryptocurrency from like number one to probably like number 35 so as to be able to you know spot those inefficiency between any of them so for the sake of this video i'm going to have to use this particular one here called bitcoin cash let us use it as a point of case study and see how we can spot the opportunity and implement it practically okay so i'm going to have to open it up in a new tab real quick there and thereafter on the you know bitcoin page right here bitcoin catch page right here you are going to have to be adding on to the market section so as to be able to you know make comparison between where you can buy low and sell high rapidly so in this case you can obviously see that bybit is trading this coin at 231 dollar 56 cents and we have binance that is trading this 
same Bitcoin cash at about 231.66. So that's like few cents differences between Bybit and Binance. So we are going to have to buy it probably on Bybit and then simultaneously transfer it over to Binance and sell it at a much higher price simultaneously. You have to be fast as possible because the market will surely go to be efficient. And before you head over to be taking an advantage of those difference in prices, you might want to consider looking at the liquidity so as to be able to be sure if the opportunity is valid or not. So in this case, you are going to have to first of all look up the liquidity score so as to be able to be sure if the liquidity is valid or not. So, and thereafter on the liquidity score page right here, you are going to have to off over to this little icon at the top beside the liquidity score there. And thereafter, CoinMarketCap has given you a brief, you know, introduction of what liquidity score is. And thereafter, it is written boldly and clearly that the higher the liquidity score, the more liquid the market is going to be. So you might want to consider, you know, huge liquidity score in any of the exchange you might want to consider trading on, as well as the confidence level, because the higher the confidence level, the more trusted that particular exchange is going to be as well. So after setting those two things aside, let us quickly up into Binance and Bybit. Let's see how we can implement all of it. So right here on Bybit, we have the coin at 231.9. Meanwhile, on Binance, it is at 232. So how about we buy it on Bybit and quickly transfer it over to Binance and sell it at a much higher price. So I'm going to have to set in my, you know, my limit order to buy at 231.9 there. And thereafter, I'm going to have to click on buy and I'll click on buy there. And our order should be able to get created. So right there, our order has gotten triggered on Bybit. We are going to have to now transfer it over to Binance and sell it at a much higher price. So in that case, I'm going to have to off over to my wallet section. And thereafter, on my sports wallet right here, this is the amount of BCH I have right there. And I'm going to have to click on withdraw because we definitely want to be redrawing the coin to Binance. So for the coin section, I'll choose the BCH right there. And thereafter, I'm going to have to paste my wallet address like my BCH wallet address from Binance. I'm going to have to paste it right there. And there you go. I should be able to redraw the entire money, which is the 3.0229 BCH. But first, we are going to have to choose the network, which is BCH, you know, network. And the transaction fee is going to cost us 0 0.001 BCH, which is what about like less than a dollar there. But anyways, let us redraw the money and I'm going to have to, you know, fast forward the video. And when the redrawer has been successful, I will get back in the video. So after a couple of minutes, let us still refresh this real quick and see if it has arrived. And obviously, as you can see, the deposit is still in progress so i'm going to have to wait for it to be fully confirmed so we can sell it back to our usdt on 
the sports market. But first thing first, let us see how much we are going to be selling our Bitcoin cash for when it got confirmed on our Binance because right now it is still in progress. So I'm going to have to search for BCH right there and click on the first result shown right there. And obviously, we are going to be selling it at 232.4. So let us see how much we are going to be getting right there 232.3 or 4. Let us paste it right there. And we are going to be making like $1 or thereabouts after it got confirmed. This is only applicable for $700 capital. So if at all you had used up to like, you know, $1,000 or $2,000, that will really make you more profit than this initial profit. So the higher your capital is, the more profit potential you are going to be getting. So I think the coin is being confirmed. So I'm going to have to quickly sell it back to Bitcoin Cash. Like I'm going to quickly have to sell it back to USDT if I want to. Okay. So this strategy can be done repeatedly and keep making consistent amount of money in a long run. But if you don't want to literally do the work yourself, I do give out these signals as well. As well as showing you how to spot it in a more detailed way yourself, like a one-on-one -on -one mentorship. So if you're interested, you probably have to click the first link in the description below and sign up. Then you are going to be added onto the group in no time. So I think that'll be all for now. Then I'll probably catch you up in my next section. Bye for now.